follow who no road. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Follow who no road so that you will not fall into Koto or miss your road. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, follow who no road. Amen. Turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 4. I want to take my reading from verse number 18. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 18 of Matthew chapter 4. I start reading from verse 18. It says, And Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw two brethren. Simon called Peter and Andrew his brother casting a net into the sea. For they were fishers. Hallelujah. Verse 19. And he said unto them, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Oh my God. Verse 20. And they straight away left their net and followed him. And going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, in a ship with Zebedee, their father, mending their net, and he called them. And they immediately left the ship, and their father followed him. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogue and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases among the people. Praise Master Jesus. This world we are in today is a world you cannot predict what will be the next line of action. Even when you have the best of the government, you can never predict what is going to become of your government in the nearest future. When you have the best policy in place, you can still not predict what is going to be the next. But as a child of God, as a believer, as a person that wants to really conquer the world and become great in life, you must learn how to follow the person that knows the road. Peter was a fisher that was fishing, fishes. And the other people were also fishers. But when Jesus came to them, he discovered that the way they are following and what they are doing is not the best for their destiny and their glory. And he said, follow me. And the Bible says immediately they left what they were doing and they followed Jesus. There are many things we encounter on a daily basis. There are many things we are facing in our lives. There are many things that is happening to us today that we have never given thought to allow the Lord Jesus to dictate for us. Many people are wandering there in the wilderness because they have not allowed Christ to show them the way. They have not allowed the Lord to teach them how to do business as a businessman. They have not allowed the Lord to fight their battle for them. When you are being oppressed in the place of war, you are being oppressed. You need to, one thing or the other happening to you. You have not allowed the person that knows the road to show you the way of escape. The reason why we are carrying too much load on our head and those loads are pressing us down. Those loads are not allowing us to fulfill our destiny. Those loads are not allowing us to get to the maximum of our destiny. And because we have not allowed who no road to lead us. Jesus said, I know my sheep and my sheep knoweth me. I call them by their name and they hear me. I walk, I move, they follow me. So we need to put ourselves in the shoe and ask ourselves a question. Are we really following the Lord? Or we are just come to church and go. The call to follow the Lord is not the call of to come to church. And after you come to church, you go and keep your Bible. Your spirit has not really been renewed. You have not been regenerated in your spirit. You have not truly followed the Lord with your spirit, with your soul, and your body. 
and the Bible gave a command. God gave a command. He said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy spirit. Everything within you must be the one to follow the Lord. How are you following the Lord? Are you following the Lord because if you don't go to church, they will say, ah, this person is not a church. He doesn't go to church. Or you are following the Lord because you want to be spiritually minded and spiritually alert. They follow that Jesus asked these people to follow. is a command. Follow me. And what do you do when you follow somebody? When you follow somebody, you copy the person. When you follow somebody, you be like the person you follow. When you follow somebody, you look like the person, you talk like the person, you live like the person. Everything you do must be like that person you follow. Not to follow somebody with mouth while your heart is far away, while your spirit is far away. Why you are not actually following what he said you are following. Jesus commanded the Peter, James and John. He said, follow me. Because he knew that following him is where the fulfillment of their destiny will come from. Child of God as a businessman, who is your mentor? As a person that wants to be an influencer, who are you following? Because I have many people that say, oh, daddy, 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 but they don't follow me. You call Jesus, Lord, 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 but you are not following him with all your heart. How do you call somebody Lord? And how do you call somebody your master when you are not following him? The contest that you hear, follow, is a command. And that command is a command for those who have decided to follow him. And somebody wrote a song that said, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. We have Many, many people that said, I have decided to follow Jesus, but they are turning back. They are turning back because their candidate did not win election. They turn back because the policy of the government is not favoring them. They turn back because their business is not flourishing. They turn back because the expectation they expected have not happened the way they wanted. But don't forget, the Bible gave us everything that we need as children of God. Remember when Peter followed Jesus, he got to a point, Peter was like somehow frustrated and he was asking questions. And he said, Lord, now we have left our fishing. We have left our families. We have left everything we used to do before and we are following you. What shall be our reward? Because somebody that is not in the state of frustration cannot ask that question. He asked that question because he felt that everything that's supposed to be working are not working. And the moment he asked the question, the Lord Jesus answered him. And he said, nobody that lose money for my sake that will not have it in fools. Nobody left family that cannot have it. Nobody left business to seek me or follow me that will not have it. Nobody that pays attention and follow the way of the Lord that misses the road. Because the way of the Lord is a way that leads to life. The way of the Lord is the way of faith, the way of perseverance, the way of standing fame, the way of being strong in your heart, the way of trusting the Almighty with all your heart. You don't even care what the atmosphere look like, but you have decided to follow the Lord. You have decided to be a believer. You have decided to be a child of God. You have decided to follow him in spirit and in truth. Not by camouflage. Not by confusion. 
You have decided and you have made up your mind to follow the Lord and you want to follow him with all thy heart, with all thy soul and with all thy spirit. You are not following him because of Nigerian government. You are not following the Lord because of election in Nigeria. You are following the Lord because you are a believer that believe in the name of the Lord Jesus. And I want to tell you and I want to make it clear to you that Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. No man on the face of the earth can come to God without the name of the Lord Jesus. Nobody can know God without him. Is the reason why we are preaching today. Is the reason the scripture is here for us. To look at what the law came today. Surely it is going to work tomorrow. You are not hearing me. Even if things are not working the way you want it now. As long as you are firm and standing. Tomorrow it must work in your favor. I see everything turning around for your good. I see everything working in your favor. In the name of Jesus.